take a look at this guy. And there we go. We got this guy, just took a bunch of photos with him. Look at that. What's up guys, good morning. So we are out here day two in Madre Selva. Got our meat here. They said this is the best bait for piranhas and it's a perfect time to catch them. Woke up early before breakfast. I started fishing and the guys said, no, don't use that bait, use this. So they gave me some of this. I'm gonna try it out and we'll see what we can catch. All right, so we got a little hook here. So we're gonna be using this to catch piranhas this morning. Got our bait. They're literally, as soon as it hit the water, they just attacked it. Haven't chummed up or anything. Oh, there we go. Got one on. Oh, they like that splash sound. Oh, there we go. It's kind of big for them. Let me see how them take it for a while. Chew on it. Watch this. Oh, they got it. It's a little big for them, so I need to get a smaller piece. Maybe I'll use a smaller hook next time. And there we go. Got something. Don't know exactly what it is, but caught my first fish it's not a piranha i'm not exactly sure what it is but pretty cool all right we got another little fish this is a catfish uh dylan caught one earlier but this one looks to be a little bit different check that out So after breakfast, we decided to do our first day hike. Walking in now, it's gonna be about three hours. Let's see what we can find. We got a nice stick bug right here. So you can see this guy just molted. Got two toads mating right here. Crazy looking millipede. Look at that. You can see he rolls up for protection and then he comes back out. He has all that armor on his back for protection. A lot different than the one that we saw in Machu Picchu. Little snake here is not venomous. I'm gonna pick him up. We'll see. Lyophis, it's a name. It looks like a little racer. What is it? Too many tiny. Look at that. He's flattening out in like a defensive position. But he's just hanging out. He was right here on this stick. I guess let him go back on his way. But Emerson says that he doesn't see these very often. Look how quick he can move. Down he goes. Okay, first and all. Yep, first and all. I gave Scott the and all. And he says that that's his new mosquito repellent. Symbiotic relationship right there. He's just eating all the mosquitoes. Coming for a free ride. Everywhere you look out here, something can hurt you. Up on that tree, you could see he has that big eye pattern on his wing to scare away predators to look like an eye of an owl or a bigger animal. Let's see if we can get up close to it. Huge butterfly, the owl butterfly. So Blake just found a scorpion right there. Yeah, Blake, go. And these two mating harlequin toads. Look at him go. There's another harlequin toad over here. Look how pretty he is. This beautiful harlequin toad right here. I didn't want to mess up the guys that were mating. Come here. If you look at him, he has these bright red feet and orangish red belly. Absolutely spectacular. Check out the greens and oranges and reds and yellows. You look at his belly. Look at him. Emerson just told us right here in this little creek going through the jungle that this is where they find the harlequin toads. And within a few minutes, Blake found two. Emerson found one. Super cool, guys. Check that out. Just found this really cool little toad. Look how he's camouflage. Sweet. Just watch how good he blends in with these leaves. 
gone. Got some black fuzzy caterpillars. Super cool little bug. So these birds are making noises because we're making noise in the trees. Here we got the other Amazon tree boa from last night. Everybody's just taking some photos of it before we go fishing. All right, so we're getting on the boat right now. We're loading it up. We're gonna take those kayaks with us so that we can go further down the river pretty quick and then we're gonna drop the kayaks off. Me, Blake, and I guess Dylan are gonna be fishing over there. So let's see what happens. We got a group of pink dolphins up here. That lake back there is really good for fishing, Emerson says. We're gonna go get these kayaks in, check it out, and see what we can catch. Before we go too far in here, we've had this guy since last night, so I wanna let him go. He's all coiled up for protection, kinda like a ball python does. They ball up and protect their head because he thinks he's gonna get hurt. I'm not gonna hurt you, buddy. Right where he belongs. Perfect. See ya, buddy using the frog lure, going to uh, just be casting around. This place looks great. All right, so we just had one hit right in there. It came off, maybe something small. A dead fish right there. These fish are chewing on. Looks like a little dead piranha. Let's see. I'm sure he smells. There we go. Look at that. First piranha. He got chomped by something. His gnarly teeth. But we're gonna we're gonna use him for bait, I think, in a second. Gonna try this little sliver. Splash right there. Put this on a little hook. See what we can catch. Something's eating. Something's eating in here. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Got him. Another sardina. Alright, sweet. Coming back to the boat. They said they're catching piranhas right there, so I think I'm gonna catch my first piranha. We're going to uh, try to catch some piranhas down here and then I'm going to try to catch a catfish. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Got the little piece of meat on now. I'm just going to put it out. They seem to be everywhere. There we go. Oh, got one. Some, oh, they call it a mahara. The kids are saying that the piranha is going to bite me. Even these little guys have some gnarly teeth. I'm trying to get a big red belly. You just want to use a small piece of bait. Just like that. It doesn't need to be too big. You cast it out. Watch the line. There you go. Boom. Oh. There we go. Nice one. Oh, yeah, I got the hook too. Look at that. I want to take one back. Okay. Let's see. Let's see once it gets a big hit. There we go. Now we're on. That's a nice one there. Look at that. Big red belly. That is crazy looking. That is awesome. Yeah. Nice. Look at those teeth though. You don't want to be bitten by that thing. There by that stick is the spot. Mm. 
Nice one. Look at that. That's a good one. Nice one. Try to get one more piranha before we try and get a catfish. So we're gonna leave our bait right there. As soon as we get a hit, we gotta yank it. Because they keep cutting our line. And there we go. Another big one. Catfish seems like the way to go. Haven't caught one yet, only a little one. I'm gonna take this. Ooh, this bait smells perfect for a catfish. Rotting piranha that we found earlier. Should be a really good catfish bait. Alright, so one is hitting now. The rod is nibbling. There we go. Little catfish. Not too big, but... Sweet. Alright, so we are scaling the fish right now. You gotta get all the scales off, so you move the knife back and forth over the sides. We're gonna fry the fish whole. When they're smaller fish, like Blake can't really catch big fish, so we have well, to have these. The bigger one, so. <laughs> Alright, so what we did was we butterflied and split the piranhas, and then how did you do this one? Oh, the catfish, he just he just took the guts out and then he sliced it so it cooks through a little bit better. Now that we got those cleaned up, they're ready for the fire. Yeah. We got the oil going in the pan. There we go, we got piranha number one. Piranha number two. There we go. <laughs> so I'm not a huge roach person, but take a look at this guy. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Hopefully it doesn't fly. When they fly, I'll freak out, but this this thing is crazy. Flavio just brought it in. He found it where? Oh! <laughs> in your bed? Yeah. That is gnarly. Look at that. Now put it on Dylan. So okay. crazy. So this is what we have in our bed. <laughs> this is what we have in our beds here in the Amazon. Crazy. Yo, Flava, I need four of those tonight to put inside his bed now. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear Dylan screaming in the middle of the night. Dinner is served. So we got the piranha here, you can see with those teeth. And then we got piranha there as well, and the catfish. And then over here we have rice, tiger shovel nose catfish, salad, and some cucumber. So there we go, Blake's passing me off Put in your some sandwich. piranha. Oh yeah, piranha sandwich, huh? All right, so first time tasting piranha. <laughs> really good. You guys is better than guinea pig, huh? Not bad at all. Better than guinea pig for sure. Next up is a catfish. All right, so now we got a piece of catfish. That's really good too. So, I'm gonna finish up eating everything else, but very surprised. Wasn't expecting it to be this good. Let's go, eat it. It's good for you. We just finished dinner and we are about to go on a night hike. So with that being said, that is all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video where hopefully we'll find some pretty cool stuff on this night hike. Peace.